Test people who design those tests. Right, they're using the language of upper middle class. Mm -hmm. right? They've been exposed to upper middle class stuff. Mm -hmm. And upper middle class people score higher on those things. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. They're working class people. That, that doesn't mean that the working class people are, are done. Lyndon Washington crossed the Delaware. Mm -hmm. Hell if I know. <laughs> but if I don't answer it right, I'm done. Mm -hmm. you, you follow me? Yes, I don't believe in that stuff. You know, and, and by the way, those are all intelligence tests. I don't care how you look at it. I don't believe in intelligence. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give you an example here. Um, this is a real example. This is a, this is a study done by a PhD, a PhD dissertation a long time ago. He did a study of uh, elementary school kids in, I'm going to give you the hint, in Southern California. It was one of those simple word association tests. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, um, they had an elephant, right, on the test. And the kids, most of, and the vast majority of kids said circle bird. Well, that's a dumb kid, man, according to, right? Uh, Why did everybody circle bird? I gave you the hint, Southern California. There's no elephants. Hmm? There's no elephants there? They're probably here. Latinos. Except at one place. This is another hint. Elephant fly. Elephant fly. They call it the bird. Mm -hmm. When they saw an elephant, it was flying. Where was it? Dumbo. Dumbo. That was Dumbo. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Interesting study. Mm -hmm. Recording this, if they, you know, these kids are dumb. You follow me? But see, but you, you're measuring what the kid's been exposed to. So if you're an upper middle class person, you've, exp you've been exposed to certain concepts, it doesn't mean you're smart. If you're a working class person, you, 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 haven't been, uh, you haven't been exposed to the same concept, it doesn't mean you're, you're done. And it's just real touchy. And right, so I think, I think more than anything, it measures social class. Um, here's, an, here's another example. Here, here's an applied example. This one that, that people that we use in practice, and I, I used to use it in my consulting all the time, in performance appraisals. One of the most, um, one of the things that really is frustrating in most organizations, and most, most supervisors and managers want to avoid it like the plague, are performance appraisals. Usually because, anybody know why? They hate doing it. Employees hate it. Why does everybody hate performance appraisals? You know, performance evaluation. You don't want to discourage.